Hi friends, welcome to mock interview on CSS3. This is a set of 10 questions to test your knowledge. This, this is how you practice for any interview that you're trying to attend. We have, I'm also publishing HTML5 uh, mock interview, so do check that out as well. And I'm going to bring levels in which you'll have more complex questions also. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you are enjoying this series. So the rules of the test are simple. We will read all the options carefully and try and complete them within 10 minutes. Try to answer them honestly. All right, so let's start with the first question on CSS3 mock interview question and answers. Which of the following selector selects all paragraph elements whose language attribute has a value of exactly FR? Your options are given here, A, B, C, D. Go take a read through them, select your option, and I'm going to reveal the answer. So your answer is option C, which is paragraph language equal to F R in quotes. That's the, that's how you will select all the paragraph elements, which has the language attribute as F R. The next question is, which of the following is a way to associate styles with your HTML document? External CSS, imported CSS, both of the above or none of the above. So your answer is option C. That is, you can import it either as a external CSS that you can import. You can link. You can import it CSS using at the rate import. You can also define inline styling. Or you can have an internal CSS, which is inside the head tag. But in this case, the option is C. Which of the following defines a measurement in points? So take a look at the measurements given here, IN, MM, PC, PT. So your answer should be, it's option D, that is PT for points. The next question, which of the following property is used to create a small caps effect? Font family, font style, font variant, font weight. So here we are trying to make the lower case. So how do you make it in CSS? The option is, font variant that's right using font variant we can set the uh, uh, effect as small caps the next question which of the following property is used to set the color of text this is a straightforward simple one that's right the option is a that is color you can using color we can set the text color the next question is which of the following property of an anchor element signifies unvisited hyperlinks? So these are pseudo classes that are given here in options. Colon link, colon visited, colon hover, colon active. So signifies unvisited hyperlinks. So remember, so the option is colon link. If you have visited that link, it will become colon visited. If you hover on it, it will become dot colon hover. If you're on the current link, it will become colon active. So in this case, the answer is colon link. The next question is, which of the following property of a table element specifies whether the browser should control the appearance of the adjacent borders that touch each other or whether each cell should maintain its style? Read through the options, read through the question carefully. Here we are trying to get table elements should control the appearance of the adjacent borders that touch each other. So the answer is border collapse. So when you give border collapse, it would appear only one, one line of border and not two if it's for adjacent cells. The next question is which of the following property changes the width of left border? Read through the options. The hint is in the question. If you see the property changes the width of left border and if you read the options there is only one with border left width so your option should be border hyphen left hyphen width the next question which of the following properties signifies the right margin of an element so again the answer is in the question it says right margin so you can see the option should be option a which is colon margin hyphen right. Which of the following properties specifies the right padding of an element? Again, 
see the the answer is in the question itself so here the option should be padding hyphen right that's right all right so that brings us to the first part of css mock interview question i hope you are enjoying this series there is also html5 uh, mock interview that i have published please do take a look at it to test your skills if you think these are simple let me know i will publish complex ones for you as well i am bringing much more series so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video give a thumbs up thank you so much see you in the next tutorial